Hey guys, this is Kyle with Attack of the Fanboy. We just checked out Dark Souls 3. I'm here with Mike Chang, the global brand manager for Bandai Namco. How's it going? It's good. It's good. Excited. Last day of uh, E3. Yeah. Um, so that was a fantastic demo. Um, what's the reaction been so far from the people coming out of there? Everyone's really been digging it. Uh, Miyazaki-san's been awesome in there, um, just going over all the new things for Dark Souls 3 and you know, showing a bit of uh, gameplay in this first look. So super excited. Yeah, and speaking of the new things, so I mean, we saw a couple of new stuff uh, in there. Can you talk, kind of talk about what's different in terms of gameplay and just the story for Dark Souls 3? Yeah, so it's, it's a great thing for fans, even if you weren't a fan of the series or haven't on your chance to play them, uh, and you definitely don't need to play one or two to jump into three. Um, there's a real sense of world scale and you get a fully immersive experience. Um, so the world is bringing back that inter interconnectivity that you saw in Dark Souls 1. So anything you'd see off into a distance, like a, you know, a, a castle far away, you'd be able to travel to in the game. And there's constant real-time rendering. Uh, so it gives you a very uh, you know, immersive experience. So taking full advantage of all the current new gen uh, graphic capabilities. Yeah, so this game is new generation only, right? That's right. Uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC Steam. Yeah, and that was very impressive when they first loaded up that demo. We were in a massive area, but off in the distance was this giant castle and just like, like they said, you can explore that entire castle. So that was amazing. Yeah, so that's that's great for every. You know, obviously this game has tons of exploration. That's that's part of the the fun of the game. So uh, bringing that back is, is an awesome uh, plus. Also, uh, you know, you had this kind of world story setting where uh, the fires are kind of fading in the in the in the world, and everything's kind of coming to this ruined state. Um, I think. You saw, you know, this golden skyline yeah. against uh, all this gritty and gloomy, you know, ghouls and trees and stuff. So um, there's a certain beauty to everything, even though it's in this kind of uh, apocalypse uh, type setting. So I think they, the phrase that Miyazaki-san used was uh, twisted beauty mm -hmm. uh, in the demo. So um, it's going to look great for, for everyone. Awesome. Um, yeah, and another really cool thing were uh, the dragons, which I guess <laughs> were in there specifically because Miyazaki likes dragons. Um, can you talk a little bit about the dragons? Yeah, so that was cool because... Uh, um, you know, obviously he was he was showing you know some of the new weapons and some of the new uh, uh, sword fighting action abilities, and you know he takes that side turn up the stairs, and all of a sudden this massive dragon comes down and just like lays waste everyone, yeah. and uh, yeah, that was one of his favorite uh, parts of the uh, the presentation. But um, yeah, a lot of obviously it's it's a lot of new uh, enemies, so it's not just you know larger knights with larger weapons uh, as you saw in that in that demo, but. Um, there's another new feature, uh, which is the sword fighting action abilities for each of the weapons. Um, I think you saw the great sword. Yeah, we saw the um, we saw the great sword, the short sword, and a uh, short bow. Right, and each each of those weapons has its own sword fighting uh, action ability. So, uh, you know, with the great sword, he get into the ready stance, and then he you know, deal a heavy attack and then obviously takes off a lot of health but then also leaves you vulnerable to enemy attacks. But um, once he did that, you got a lot of oohs and ahs from the audience just because yeah. it looked pretty impressive. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, so for the game, the game is looking at an early 2016 release. Uh, how long have you guys been working on it? Uh, it's been a while. I mean, you know, obviously there have been other titles that, that From Software has been working hard on and, you know, as soon as, uh, you know, team members are done with that title, they just completely shift on to this one. So it's kind of been a very fluid process, but uh, with Miyazaki-san kind of very hands-on with Dark Souls 3, um, you know, we're sure the fans are going to dig it. Yeah, and with Miyazaki kind of kind of back in charge of, of this entry, correct? Um, would you say that it's more like Dark Souls 1 or more like Dark Souls 2? Uh, yeah, so like he's... He's never really been gone from the Soul series. He's always, you know, that's his thing. Yeah. Uh, but he's definitely, uh, definitely more hands-on for Dark Souls 3. And uh, he said many times that he doesn't want to take just one and two and mash them up into a giant Dark Souls 3 uh, game. He wanted to take the best of, of each of the games and, and bring them back, such as interconnected worlds, certain type of uh, gameplay elements. So this one's to be crafted as, as the best of the three. Um, how about character classes? Because we've seen we've seen some changes through the series. What are the character classes looking like for Dark Souls Three? Uh, we we didn't really get too too deep into that into this demo, but uh, you know the next big beat for us will be uh, Gamescom when we do our first uh, hands-on experience. So that's when we're going to start uh, going a little bit more into those. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Mike. Um, it was a great demo. So have a good yeah. rest of E3. It's it's All almost right, over. Yep. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks.